Right, okay. So we should have really done a before we stripped everything out. But this is my really boring front spare room. Um, which Steve is going to paint all white for me. And I've ordered a whole load of furniture. So I'm going to turn it into my office slash beauty room. I look forward to you seeing more work once it's progressed. Hurry up, Steve. So just doing a wee update. Um, got an LED light, which I think is going to be fantastic for when I'm working. And we've just gone for it. Um, you know, white, so it's nice and bright. Um, there we go. Get the blinds back up. Thought we might have been needed to clean this carpet, but it's actually still quite clean. Hardly got used this room. Um, get blinds back up, and Steve's going to build the furniture and get my desk in, and then I can start filling it with all my stuff. So I thought I'd bring you in. Um, Steve's finished painting and he's built all the furniture so we obviously need to think of things to put on here that aren't too heavy to be honest with you but i kept these cards from my birthday from last year believe it or not um and i thought they might be nice in a photo frame and we've got the 16 kind of the calax it's got the 16 bits in it so we've got some of the pink drawers some of the white sorry pink cupboards some of the white cupboards um, however, it freaked Steve out a bit <laughs> that the pink cupboards only have a return on this side. So he couldn't actually, the way that the hinges were, I don't think he could have put it on the other side. I don't know. I got some of these white boxes from Ikea that fit the Calax because they're cheap, but I don't know how long they'll be lasting. So I've got four of those and two of these ones, but I probably will pick up some drawers. Um, so now I just need to get some kind of things to furnish it really, don't I? Um, some of my makeup brushes in there. I don't know that they will stay there. Um, so moving around, I've got my standing desk, um, which I love. It's fantastic, but it's got a glass top. So that's why I've got this on it. Um, I would have loved to have kind of come in here and put a new brand new iMac on it but it's going to be all my crap looking work equipment that goes on it but hey ho um, so I've got the two Alex drawers at either side one's going to be kind of work related and one is going to have my makeup in it the magazine racks my printer I'll need to go somewhere as well and I've got a pencil pot that Brandon made me however I thought this would look quite cute with the pencils in it so yeah, all we need to do is kind of get some um, things in the room to kind of give it a bit more personality. So bearing in mind that it's also my office as well as my kind of makeup room and also kind of where I'll come and film. So yeah, I mean I'd love to have one of these nice fancy chairs. I mean that chair costs £700 because it's a specialist chair, however... You know, it'd be quite nice to have a desk chair that kind of looked all fancy with the room and stuff, but I do need one as a reasonable adjustment, so that's why it's so expensive. But, um, yeah, it's not exactly beauty, is it? But hey ho, it's nice, I like it, it keeps my back, <laughs> it keeps my back, um, kind of good. But yeah, I think Steve did a good job, um, painting it all, kind of getting the furniture built, and um, it's really nice to have somewhere bright to come and work and to come and film. So I'm just kind of looking for things to pop in here. I don't want to fill it too much with clutter, but um, I do want it to look a bit more, have a bit more personality than it has at the moment. So I'll probably accent it with some colours. Yeah, thought I'd let you see what it looks like finished. <laughs> 